Hi, I'm Gary Bembridge of Tips for Travelers, and this is another essential cruise tip. In this, I'm going to tell you about the four main classes or categories of cruise lines. So let's start, first of all, with the most affordable and work our way up to the most expensive. Well, mainstream cruise lines are the most affordable cruise line that you can have, and they include cruise lines such as Royal Caribbean, Carnival, Norwegian Cruise Line, MSC Cruises. These are lines which will have the most affordable prices and they target a lot of families, young people, and they tend to have lots of resort style ships. The next category above that is what's known as premium cruise lines. So premium cruise lines include things like Celebrity, Princess Cruises, uh, Cunard are in here, Holland America. So these cruise lines are uh, generally more expensive than mainstream cruise lines, although they will have a wide range of cabin types from inside cabins right up to suites. They will provide a slightly more premium experience. They will have generally a much more traditional cruising experience uh, and they will have more kind of bells and whistles and features. So let me talk about the next level of cruise lines and these are luxury cruise lines. Now, luxury cruise lines tend to operate slightly smaller ships and they go to slightly more unique and different ports because they have slightly smaller ships than many of the premium lines. So the cruise lines in here include things like Azamara Cruise Lines, Oceania and Windstar and they offer a much more luxurious experience, slightly more all-inclusive, but again, they will have quite a wide range of different cabin types. So again, uh, different prices and different entry points. Now, the most premium of all the cruise lines is ultra luxury cruise lines. Sometimes they call themselves six star cruise lines. So this would be cruise lines like Seabourn, Silver Sea, Region 7C, and Crystal. Many of them have all suite ships. They may have butler service. They will have uh, premium branded toiletries, very personalized service, and tend to be pretty all-inclusive where uh, a lot of drink and many other features like that are included in the price. So there you have it. Those are the four key types. You have mainstream, premium, luxury, and ultra luxury. So hopefully that's helped you think a little bit about the different type of cruise lines and what suits you. The way I tend to think of it often is mainstream cruise lines will often sort of be the equivalent to a three-star hotel, premium probably about a four-star hotel, luxury five-star, and then those ultra-luxury ships are you know five-star plus hotels, the very exclusive boutique type hotels. Well, hopefully that's helped you understand the whole cruise industry a little bit better and uh, giving you insight about the different classes of cruise lines. I'd really love it if you liked the video and leave some comments and thoughts, but most important of all, please subscribe to the Tips for Travelers channel and you can get much more inspiration, advice and tips whenever new videos come out. So please subscribe right now.